Hey guys, Bhavani Prasad Karatu is here. Today we will discuss about how to create a cool text portrait in Photoshop and then we will convert that Photoshop files into HTML files. So this is a two parts of video. In this first part, we will convert the image into cool text portrait and then in second part, we will convert the images into HTML and CSS process. So, we'll see how it actually works. Let's get started. So, first of all, we want to take this image in Photoshop and insert it in Photoshop. So, now what I want to do is I want to make it as a black and white photo. So, for that purpose, I want to make a copy of this first. And after doing that, I want to make a black and white object. Then I got the black and white image and then just change the images to make some modifications. So a little bit of modifications. So that makes your image so crisp. This looks good for me. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to hide this action layer in this uh, color layer. Now I want to take this layer the exception and I want to make this as a rasterized layer first then selecting this object tool selection tool and just I want to make sure that just uh, selecting this portion itself and just do the difference you can see the British division and same guys like the, if in this portion also I just do it in this portion so almost done guys, uh, we have the better version now and I, wa I want to add that one That's it. So now we want to change this uh, little bit of glitters on his uh, face So we want to change that glitter version For that purpose what I want to do is I just want to click on this on his uh, face with control and just want to make sure that now we got right structure of the final version first. Uh, since I want to make it as a mask for this, uh, now what I want to do is I want to go for liquify for this first layer and just define this entire body itself so it looks uh, very, uh, very, very good. Look. So uh, everything is done now, now I just make a uh, uh, liquid form, now what I will do is I want to clip on this original layer, like this. now I got the perfect shape of uh, entire his body, I mean no any glitches here, now I have, uh, I just when I am seeing this image uh, there is lot of white spaces there like his entire uh, he is looking somewhat uh, light bright, so I want to make this a star, so what, how we can make this star? I'm just changing the color, just need to do it. I'm adding it is like uh, this type. Yeah, this looks perfect. This looks perfect for my uh, editing skills. Like I want to uh, make this image as a portrait. So with the text format. So uh, this uh, this is done. Now I'm going to save this image, and I want to make all these layers. I want to add so now I want to add a text effect in this. To add text effect, I want to go to Google first and selecting some text. Since I am using Elon Musk image, I am just uh, selecting his text itself and going to World Cloud Free Business Apps.net and just it's a world version tool that you can convert your text files into Word files, images 
so i will give the link in the description so you can get also use this uh, in this uh, creating this attributes okay uh, creating this images so now what i want to do is i just copy this text field and just adding this here and changing a little bit inputs here and i want to change this over vector orientation to 2 and 0 degrees to 90 degrees let's see what happens see how it looks just see this everything looks somewhat clumsiness so i'm just uh, taking this and to 10 degrees and just see i'm just changing the number it automatically changes the entire uh, things whenever i'm changing it automatically changes your text fields. so it means if you use one it will show us all in the, uh, one direction and if you use Two, it, oh, it shows you two directions, two orientations, and it shows three, it shows three orientations. If you select four, it will show four orientations. For, as of now, I want one orientation as of for me. And rotation, orientation from 90 degrees to 90 degrees. This will be my text field. And I want to text field it for 2000 words. That's very good for me. Yeah. Now it looks good for me. It looks very good for me. So what I want to do is now, I want to save it. Uh, just clicking on this SVG, it will save it in your system. After saving it, this is my file. Now what I want to do is, I want to just drag this file into my Photoshop and just click like this. I open my entire uh, this Wordle in my Photoshop first. And I want to convert this wordel into black and white wordel first, so that I can apply it to my text layer. So for this purpose, I'm just adding a new layer and applying this black color here and just put it like this. That's it. It applies to my black color. So I want to change these text colors to enter these text colors to black and white. So for that purpose, I'm just using these adjustments. Then go to black and white. I'm changing these all colors to complete 300 so that I will get all the colors into white color. So now it will be black and white color. Almost done. Now I want to lock this black layer and I want to modify, I want to play with this text field so that looks good for me. I mean, for this uh, text inputs, I'm just changing the text inputs like this. I'm just adding spaces like uh, since I have so many spaces here and there, so I want to add these spaces with the text inputs. For this purpose, I'm just uh, clicking on Alt and just uh, dragging it like this. And again, I'm just clicking on Alt and just dragging it like this. And we'll we'll what we'll do is after adding all this, we'll see about the little bit of spaces next. So I'm just adding everything like this little bit little bit of spaces just adjusting every little bit of spaces and That's it. So almost done. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to make this edge this two. I want to match these two images, and now I want to make 
this here and i want to resize it to the middle so i want to resize it to the middle first like this just resize and it to the middle so uh, every text field that in this space itself so that's it uh this is uh, the actual process now uh, this is the process what we have done uh, while creating this face as a text field inputs now what we will do is we want to make this entire text field input as html format so you can get that in the second session i mean the second part of this video so we'll save first of all we'll save this so this is how we can create this inputs okay so that's it